Hola, this is Alicia Monet and I have something to say. I'm very thankful. I'm very um, amazed with myself and with everything and everybody right now. Like um, the wind, the earth, the stars, the grass, all of that. With the most high, our divine father and mother, um, with as human beings, with life, the way things are, the way that you magnetize where you're at and just all the beautiful people and my being and around me and the people that I'm that I'm building with and that I'm growing with and all these things it, it brings me so much joy and pleasure what I want to talk about today I love my friends I love Facebook first of all anyways um I hosted a co-hosted a new moon ceremony or gas new moon ceremony with Tiffany Janae of organic blood a couple nights ago Monday night and what I did what I brought to the table was um, I led some women I mean some people actually and a, um, and a self-love orgasmic hands-free orgasm ritual and I didn't realize that so many people though the all those people would be affected so tremendously there were a lot of people who had trauma and being able to climax without touching themselves was life-changing and I find it interesting because we never you know when we're going through hell and we're in the mud and we're at our lowest and we feel like people are throwing salt on our wounds and that they're kicking us and we're down and all these other things we don't realize what it's for at the time I experienced rape three times, one annually and twice vaginally. I was molested growing up. Um, I was in relationships that were not conducive to my, um, I can't say they weren't conducive to my growth, but they were abusive. But so was I at the time to myself. So, you know, what do you expect? And then um, I didn't know why I was going through those things. And I would always tell myself, you know, there's got to be a reason. Maybe I'm going through this because um, I'm supposed to help somebody in the future. Because you know in church they tell you that Yo, your trials or your testimony and Jesus is going to see you through all these wonderful things, right? And so I always felt like, okay, well, I'm going through this for somebody else because this sucks. Why would I, why would I be going through this? And um, so due to all my trauma... I didn't realize at the time that like, this trauma was real. Even in my marriage, I could not perform. I had, we had trouble in the sex department because of my trauma. And I tried everything. I tried so many things. And and nothing was working for me except for goddess like elixir and yoni eggs. That worked. But that came at a time where I made a decision to heal. And I made a decision to um, cleanse my womb out and to um, separate from my husband and all these other things. But... Um, so, I didn't realize that through my trauma, it made it difficult for me to touch myself or anybody to touch me for that matter. It made it difficult for me to even be comfortable with my, well, my sexual energy, period, or anything to do with sex, period. So, because of that, I learned and developed other tools to allow me to exist in a state of orgasmic bliss without touching myself without any type of um, sexual penetration or any of that. And that's a gift. So, it, because it's not just, it's not just a physical thing, you know what I mean? It's not just a, oh, oh, sex, no. It's, it's, it's becoming one with God and orgasmic bliss, that, that is, that is creation. That state of bliss is where it's so powerful that stars, rockets, universes, galaxies are created. They're blasting off, they're shooting, and it's, it's pretty amazing because it's not just a, a physical orgasm. It's with all of your chakras. And it opens you up. It's a very spiritual experience, a very um, energetically intense experience and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have even thought 
to master that had I not had so much trauma to the point to where I couldn't even touch my own self. But I knew because the most I let me know in order for you to be the goddess that you are and reach and operate from your highest potential, you're going to have to learn and master sexual energy. You're going to have to be able to fully express yourself sexually. And so I'm like, oh God, here we go. And there was a lot of stuff that I was doing at the same time in order to get me to this point. But my point in being and saying this and even doing this whole video was for a couple of reasons. One, to say that your trials and tribulations are not just for you. There is um, that path that you have to walk um, is going to allow you to develop tools and skills that are necessary for you to navigate through that, um, be better, and to help a whole lot of other people who are going through it. Number two, a lot of times you don't recognize your gifts because you're so naturally in the groove of them or you don't you don't see them as such, but what you do doesn't come easy to everybody. You're special in that way. So, you know, your gifts, we need them. Share them with us, you know. You can charge too. Share your gifts with us because we need them. And it's great to have friends to point out that, yo, that's a gift. You always see on the bright side of things as a, as a mother-loving gift because let me tell you. Or, you know, whatever. The way that you, you know, gaze at people in their eyes is a gift because after you do that, they are calm after that. Or whatever the gift may be. You know, your knowledge on, I don't know, um, astrology is a gift. People don't know that. You should share that with people. Or your understanding of the way cells interact is an amazing gift. People don't know that in that level of detail. So whatever your gift is, share that gift with us. Because, you know, you may not know you have it. But it is a gift, you know. Um, and number three, you matter. You're important. You can create the life that you desire. Um, share yourself. Share with us. We need you. We love you. All right, that's all I want to say. I'm very thankful that that um, that I'm able to help women who have gone through or who are going through what I once went through because I remember that. That is not pleasant. And I got such good feedback of, of women who um, were, were concerned for themselves because of, you know, they're married and they, they, don't, they don't, they feel uncomfortable. Just like I did. I remember I was, I was in that exact same place and my services helped them in a tremendous way because it was a very spiritual and intensely energetic experience and it's something that they can take with them everywhere they go because as manifestors as creators it only works really well when we're feeling really good when we're feeling really good the good stuff that we want comes to us so easy so um i'm thankful for that and i just wanted to share that with you guys and i hope that this empowers you and encourages you to um to be the best you can be and to share you with us okay